Okay, I'm still at Bach Tower Gardens. Now this is at the base of the tower. That stone you see, that's where um, Edward Bach is um, buried. The one who found this place, he's buried right there at the um, base of the tower. That's what I'm told. I can't get any closer to show you. But, uh, that's where he's buried. In a, and there's the tower right there. And um, oh, that's where he's buried. It's all pretty much to show. Wait a minute. Might give a little bit more information. Wait a minute, everybody. So that friendly squirrel bothering that person right there, following her right behind her too. That squirrel's friendly. He doesn't want an apple. Hmm, maybe he does. No. You guys, little whiskers. Get little squirrel. No matter, most of the time they'll stay away from you, but uh, you get a hold of one, yeah, it could be vicious little things. It's gonna shake for a minute. I better zoom away, it's gonna to shake too much. You now I should nickname this squirrel video. Darn it. Oh, ow, ow! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! These mosquitoes are getting horrible. Well, the squirrel's on top of this. This is what I was gonna show you. Okay, uh, Edward Bach, born, Oct I'll read it to you, October 9, 1863 at Den Helder, the Netherlands, died within sight of this tower January 9, 1930. At the request of his family placed his grave in the lawn in front of the great brass door. Uh, coming to the United States as a poor immigrant boy of six, he achieved success as a writer and editor. Late in the life, he created the sanctuary as a place of repose for the human spirit. Built the tower with the great cauldron at its center accent and present uh, them to the American people for visitation as, he, as his thanks for the success they had given him. Alright, well, I'll end this video with you looking at this squirrel eating an apple. Alright, bye bye YouTube, bye.